We're here at Six Flags America. All right, guys, look where I am today. I am at Six Flags America today, and I'm here for the virtual reality uh, thing on the Superman Ride of Steel and just everything, I guess. It's a, uh, it's a Tuesday, or I think, uh, no, a Thursday, sorry. It's a Thursday in the summer, so it shouldn't be very busy um, because, like, schools are still in session. So, yeah, and it's a great day. I mean, look at the weather. It's nice and blue out. So, yeah, Six Flags America, here it is. Um, and I'm going to head in in just a minute. So, yeah, Six Flags America. To help speed up the process, please remove all items from your pockets and place them in your bag or hand. Make sure to have your bags open and ready for inspection. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy your day. Here it's Look who it is. Hi. <laughs> I look Bugs Bunny. All right guys, I'm here at Six Flags America today. Beautiful day. It's not gonna be too crowded, so that's awesome. And yeah, I got my uh, refillable mug. Brought this with me. Um, and this is the new uh, Splash Water Falls. So I'm gonna try to get a closer up view of it. And I'm definitely going in Hurricane Harbor today. I brought my uh, swimming stuff, so yeah. I can't wait to uh, check out this new Splash Water Falls. It looks awesome, uh, nice and colorful. They have like these new um, shaded areas over here. And then, uh, yeah, this is the new Slide Complex Splash Water Falls. It's looking awesome. And they already have it testing, so yeah, it looks amazing. All right, here it is. Oh, the bucket just went. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so when I head into Hurricane Harbor, you'll be able to see the other side. This is kind of just like the back side, so you can't see it too well. So yeah, we're going to head back into uh, where we're going to go into the park. It doesn't even open yet. I'm here like an hour early, and so yeah, I'm going to head in the park. Gonna get on virtual reality Superman or Superman virtual reality. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, we're gonna do that. And uh, I talked to one of the media people here, and they might be able to attach a GoPro for me if uh, they have time. So that should be awesome. So it looks like today, uh, in order to participate in the uh, virtual reality, you have to buy like an exclusive t-shirt and then you can be one of the first to ride. So I'm probably going to get one of those t-shirts. And the t-shirt looks pretty much like this. It, it has that on it and then it says, this ride just got real or something. So yeah, um, check it out. Let's go head in. Head in. We get to go through the uh, gold pass entry, like right there. You are approaching a security checkpoint and metal detection area. To help speed up the process, please remove all items from your pockets and place them in your bag or hand. Make sure to have your. So obviously, no selfie sticks are allowed. Let's see, what does this say? If you purchased a one-day ticket, you may proceed straight ahead to our ticket takers, place them in your bag or hand. in Six Flags America. Looks like they put these uh, new banners up which look really good with the American flag in the background. And so yeah, Six Flags America. It's roller coaster time. So let's do it. Got a couple of park maps. Six Flags America. And check it out. There's nobody here. So I'm here for the Gold Pass entry and yeah, there's nobody here. Check this out. 
they got these uh yeah these new banners which i really like uh they look awesome it is perfect weather here for six flags america and we're here um at the main entrance like main street and they have this really cool like fountain here and then they have like uh, a screen here with some ads on it Alright, so basically, um, the water park, alright, so basically the water park is open, so I'll be hitting up the water park a little bit later on, it's Hurricane Harbor, um, but I'm just gonna do dry park stuff now, and then I'll make my way to the water park, and yeah, uh, check it out, the Six Flags America. Here's Shipwreck Falls. Alright, so Six Flags is really uh, doing an amazing job uh, paying attention to detail here. Um, the last few visits I've noticed this park is really starting to look amazing. Um, they have like, I guess new music they're playing instead of ads, they're playing like themed music around some areas. So that's really cool. Like they're paying a lot of attention to making sure the guests are happy and, I, and I'm so excited. Like this park is really awesome. I'm actually kind of, I'm going to be sad to move. but. It's all right, I'll have somebody come here for me and fill in. Uh, so yeah, um, I think I'm gonna do Roar first, and then I'll make my way to Apocalypse, which is over there. Oh, and they did put the ad back on Roar, so I guess they took it down uh, for like a refurb or something. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do Roar first, and then I'll make my way over to uh, Apocalypse, the last stand. But yeah, Roar first. There's Apocalypse. Fire goes off. Let's see. Oh, no fire. All right, let's do roar. Roar time. All right, here we go. So the ride, uh, Roar, is not open yet, maybe later, but uh, they just told me, so I'm gonna try to do Apocalypse, actually. So I was thinking uh, I'm gonna do Apocalypse and then go straight to the Superman uh, virtual reality thing because I'm guessing everyone's gonna go there, so yeah. Oh, check this out, they're uh, doing some cleaning, cool. Apocalypse.
All right, let's do it. Time for apocalypse. So I think I'm the first person to ride Apocalypse here today. I, I just saw them test running it, so I guess I'm the first person. Uh, that's fun, right? Maybe I can get my own train, hopefully. I'm out of mind. Okay, here we go. This is really awesome. Nobody here. This is a perfect graduation gift. Like, I just got here. I graduated last night, so it's like a nice, uh, nice little gift here. Thank you, Six Flags. There's nobody here. All right. Yeah, I don't see any balloons. All right, here we go. We like to party. And like to party. We like, we like to party. to uh, the Superman ride of steel. And so yeah, that should be fun. Alrighty, just rode Apocalypse two times in a row in the front and it was pretty sweet. Now I'm gonna go to Superman like I said. Apocalypse is a good coaster if you're if you're in the front row it's a pretty good coaster. This park is pretty empty today. This is really the good thing about going to amusement parks. Uh, in early June, before all schools have gotten out, I guess, you know, Disney doesn't count, Universal, Hershey, those don't count because those, like, get a lot of tourists, but if you go to, like, a Six Flags park or, like, uh, I don't know, a Cedar Fair park in early June, it will look like this, most likely um, if it's on a weekday, so you get lucky and it's uh, pretty good. All right, I think I'm going to just do Joker's Jinx quickly and then I'll do Superman because Joker's Jinx is right, right here, so why not? I guess, right? I don't know. Yeah, here it is, Joker's Jinx. The sign looks awesome. Nice and repainted. And no lines. I'll check it out, no line. <laughs> Alright, headed to Superman Ride of Steel now, and Joker's Jinx was great, uh, it's fun, so yeah, um, I'm excited, I'm really actually excited about today because there's like nobody here, and so I can really get a lot of rides in, and so it'd be awesome, I mean, I kind of feel bad that they're not very busy, but I'm sure they'll get busier, like later on in the summer, usually, uh, there's a lot of crowds later on in the summer, so I mean, these days are less busier because people are in school. 
Alright, headed to Superman Virtual Reality right now. I haven't seen it uh, test yet, so hopefully it should be testing soon. See Joker's Jinx going. Not Superman though. Check it out, you're Superman and it's going up. I can't really tell if there's people wearing, it looks like there might be people wearing the virtual reality, we'll have to see. Looks cool. Here's Joker's Jinx. Here we go. It looks like they've done so many enhancements to this area, so check it out. Already I see they have brand new Superman logos here, so the old ones were taken out. Brand new ones, nice and new, painted, it's pretty cool. So here's the Superman ride. So many new things, uh, yeah, here we go. I already see a uh, brand new pavement here, a new Superman thing on the ground. And then they have the new sign right there, so Superman's up there. Check this out, we got a uh, little thing you can get your picture taken in front of. and they put these new logos up and then looks like over there they repainted that so I'll have to get a picture of that. And this is new too. Here it is, the Daily Planet uh, gift shop here. So I'm thinking you have to, I guess you have to get a shirt first. So these are the shirts you have to buy. All right, I got my shirt here. I'm gonna have to put it on. Oh, no lines, check it out. This is awesome. And I got my virtual reality shirt. Um, you have to buy the shirt, I guess, to ride. So yeah, I know you guys can't see. I'll show it later. So yeah, um, oh, looks like the second train is now on the tracks and it's repainted and everything. Oh, and they have some signage for the new uh, virtual reality coaster. So here's some signage. So you have some rules here. Um, I guess I'll just take a picture and put it in the video so you guys can read it if you want. Or I'll put it at the end, but yeah, just some rules.
So I think this is the same sign as before. It just shows you how to put it on or how they put it on you. So check it out, new logo, new Superman logo. I think it's from like the Superman versus Batman or whatever. But yeah, um, they repainted the whole building. Everything looks awesome. Uh, so now I'm gonna do it virtual reality and I will see you guys, I guess, when I'm done with it. I'm scared, but we'll see. I mean, I've done it before, just with no animation. Check it out, it's pretty cool. All right, about to do it. All right, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I can see like buildings. All right, looks like they rerouted, uh, they rerouted the line. So for the front row, you don't have to wrap around there anymore. Pretty cool. Whoa. I can see Superman. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm about to ride with the virtual reality thing in the uh, front row. And it's cool, like when you're in the station, it picks up the actual ride and then it glitches a little bit because it's not sure if you're on the ride or not. But um, yeah, so. Hey, I'm about to see you now. Okay, so I say go in the back? Yeah, either either any row. Alright, so we're gonna go. Alright. You guys have to try it. You guys, you gotta try it. It was amazing. I can't describe it, but wow. And then, uh, wow. That's just, that inner time hill right there, that gets you pretty amazing. Here's that wing, and oh my gosh, you guys, that was amazing. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So you're going up the hill, and as soon as as soon as you like turn around, you're going up. Um, the video that they're playing in front of you, it makes you kind of feel like you're going up a hill, right? So you're going like up, and then once you get to the top, you see Superman, right? Or actually, when you're going up, you see uh, I think Lex. Lex Luthor, whatever you call it, and Superman are like fighting each other. And then when you get up to the top, Superman goes like what, like over a building and then goes straight down. And then he's flying around buildings. And then up here he goes over a building, which you can kind of get it, right? Like airtime. So you go over a building and then back under. And it's just, it's just amazing. They really calibrated it well. And I can't wait to keep on riding it because there's no line. And wow, I just can't. You guys got to do. I can't. I don't know how to describe it to you guys you just have to do it like I don't know how to describe it. it's amazing but anyways yeah it's, it's something it is really something I'll have to get back in line wow that was just amazing it's going up again 
Uh, so virtual reality works in every row, I believe, except for the front row. And basically when you sit down, they have to get you calibrated. Um, so it shows like a screen that says calibrating and then it calibrates and then you go out of the station. It's, it's really awesome. Like I was here um, on the commercial day and we didn't even see the virtual reality. So I wasn't so sure what it was going to be like, but this is amazing. It really, uh, it's something. And uh, yeah. I got it. I just got to do this all day because why not? Here's the Batwing. I might go to that a little bit later, but I'm going to focus mainly on Superman right now. So it looks like they already have both trains ready for virtual reality, and that's the thing you look at uh, for it to calibrate. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really looking awesome. I am kind of bummed. I got invited to the media day thing yesterday, and I had to miss it because of my graduation. But uh, I'll show you guys kind of like what the invita invitation was like. It was very cool. All right, so it's loading up here. So it is a pretty cool invitation. So it says the VIP event was yesterday, and then you can like open it like you're actually like it's like a newspaper, like you're flipping the page, right? So that's pretty cool or you can do it from the top and then um, yeah I, I got invited and they had all this cool stuff like I mean I'll have to put some pictures in the video but they had like uh, cupcakes and all this cool Superman stuff this Superman was there too and the CEO of Six Flags so I had to miss it but they might be able to do some filming later on for me but yeah the VIP event this changes everything and then lastly, you have this. So check this out. I'm online and this is from the media event or invite for the media event. It's really cool. It's like a invite, but it's also like a book. It's really cool. As you can see, it says VIP event and yeah. It's like a little book, and there's our media, and you're at um, Six Flags America. No lines, and so I'm going to do it again, and they're, you know, they're really uh, prepared for the, like, the virtual reality, because I know when, when it opens to the public, it's going to be so popular, and they're probably going to fill all those lines up, and then, um, yeah, I mean, they have a lot of um, staff here putting the goggles on people, and it seems pretty cool. And they have these directions like I showed you guys earlier. I think I'm going to ride it without VR, maybe right now. And then maybe I'll do it. I'll switch off every time. I don't know. I just kind of want to ride it without it. This is where they charge the things. And then... Pretty cool. Alright, so I'm about to get the uh, headset on me. Yeah, I just do videos. I got a lot of friends that do that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Superman Ride of Steel Virtual Reality it was amazing. I really, again, like I said, I can't describe it to you guys. It was just amazing. You guys got to do it. 
and I'm headed to Batman now, Batwing. I really gotta say the airtime hills really are the best parts. Like, it's calibrated perfectly. So every airtime hill is either like you going over a building or you just going like over clouds or something. It's amazing. It's really, it's really cool. Like, to be in the virtual world, I mean, I think it's, I don't know, I think in some ways it's better than the actual ride experience. Riding without virtual reality, eh, it's just, but with the VR goggles, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's like a whole different ride, to be honest with you guys. So, you guys just gotta do it. I mean, I can't even show you, like, I can't describe to you guys how amazing it is or show you guys, like, you just gotta do it for yourself. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's awesome. So, yeah, get down here to Six Flags and try it on the Superman. It's pretty cool. Check it out, new Superman icon here. This ride is awesome. Again, like I said, they repainted this side of the building and it's looking awesome. Or the station, I mean. There's Joker's Jinx I just went on earlier. And now I'm headed to the Batwing. I almost said Batman. I mean, I keep on, it's the same thing. Batman, Batwing, you say the same thing. All right, Batwing. So apparently now the Batwing is closing at 4 p.m. I didn't know it was closing like that early. All right, there's Superman going up. Love this ride, it's awesome. It's going up the hill right now. Go under here. Oh.
So here's the second Batwing station that usually isn't really used, but here it is. And then you got Superman and Joker's Jinx behind me, or in front of me. All right, so the Batwing was awesome, and now I'm going to, I guess, Superman to ride that a couple more times, and then, I guess, all the other rides here for today, and so, yeah. I really do like the Batwing, actually. I think they've done a lot of improvements to it, and it's pretty awesome. It's smooth now. So, yeah, it's not bad. I'm not gonna do the Penguins Blizzard River today because I don't wanna get wet in my regular clothes. I might do the water park though. We'll see. And this shirt gets you uh, unlimited rides on Superman. Check it out, they have uh, Oreo churros here. It's pretty cool. I'll have to get one later. So I just got the uh, Oreo churro because I'm on the um, the dining plan, the uh, whatever it's called, the dining pass. So this is it, um, an Oreo churro, and it was free. Like I said, they gave me two. Um, so I guess it's like seven bucks, and you get two of them, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think they changed the recipe because I remember they they had maybe it's like filled with. Yeah, it looks like it's filled now with the the inside now has the filling. Um, like last time they would give you like a, a thing on the side, like a cup you would dip it in. Um, so I don't know, I guess they changed it. And then the uh, wrapping doesn't say Oreo churro on it, but that's okay. I got two for free, so that's awesome. I'll have to try it and see. Last time I really liked it, so I'm gonna try it right now. It's really good. Wow, it's awesome. Yeah, it looks like the um, the guy was right. The inside now has a, um, a cream in it. So this Oreo churro is um, amazing. Really good. Good thing I can also wash it all down with this unlimited refill of any beverage I want cup. So I can get unlimited refills all season. So yeah, I didn't pay anything for the churros and now I can get a free drink. Alright, it's pretty good. Thumbs up. I 
got my free blue Powerade here in the Six Flags Unlimited Refill Cup.